Today we'll be making back to school mermaid locker decor. For the first craft, we'll be making mermaid scale wallpaper. In my pineapple locker decor video, I showed you guys how to make little tiny pineapples and watermelons with a potato. Well, we'll be doing pretty much the same thing on this removable contact paper. But we're gonna do mermaid scales instead, using these colors. Aren't they pretty? I just cut my potato in half to make a little scale shape. I'm going to use a sponge brush to paint the potato. You can just dip it, but I feel like it's easier to paint it on because you can control how much paint you're using. I'm just gonna put a line of green scales all the way across. On to the next color. Now I'm going to get the blue potato and stamp it overlapping the green row. So I'm gonna go right in between here. Moving on to our dark blue. Now we're just going to repeat it until the entire paper is filled up. Ta-da, we're all done. Look, it looks like an actual mermaid tail. Like, it could be real. It looks like here and we're going to turn it into a pencil holder. First, let's spray paint it gold. This part is super fun. Guys, look how it turned out. It's so awesome. It's like a golden palace. It's so cool. We will trim the top of this right here with blue sequins. on the back so it will stick in my locker. The deeper part right here could be for pencils and then the part right here could be for like gum. Mermaid locker craft number three. This one is like really easy. What I have here is a fake starfish. I use this in my mermaid Halloween makeup tutorial. I use this for my hair, just like that. It was really cute. You should check out that video next. Anyway, all we're going to do is get a magnet, stick it on the back, so it's like a starfish magnet. There we go. Now this can stick on my wallpaper and it will be super cute. For this next craft, you need to eat a thing of pudding. Bling! See? It's so clean. It's exactly what we want. For this part, we need some of this stuff. I got this at Walmart in the party section for like a dollar, so it was really cheap. What's up, y'all? We're just going to cut the ends of this magical rainbow hair, that's what I'm gonna call it, and glue it to the inside of the pudding cup because we're making a jellyfish chandelier. Now I'm going to put a thing of hot glue at the bottom of the cup. some Elmer's glue and glitter. So I'm going to cover the cup with some glue using a paintbrush. Now I'm just going to set it over the bowl and pour some glitter on it. After the Elmer's glue dries, I'm going to put another coat of glue on it so that the glitter doesn't fall. I want to hang this on the top of my locker, so I'm going to put a magnet right on the top. For our last craft, we'll be making a mermaid tail whiteboard. This is vinyl paper that's a whiteboard. 
Make sure you get the one that says removable or else it won't come out of your locker. I sketched out a mermaid tail. We're gonna cut it out so it will be a mermaid tail whiteboard. This is the same stuff that I used for my cactus themed locker decor. You should check out that video too. There's our mermaid tail. And now you can write like little quotes on it or like what you have to do in the morning. all up in my locker. First, we're gonna do the wallpaper. I love the colors. The greens and the blues look awesome together. Time for the starfish. Now for the sandcastle pencil box. Let's put the mermaid tail erase board in now. Watch how easily it erases. And lastly, the jellyfish. Other things that you can add on into this locker is a mirror and a shelf. I put a little cute rug on it. Those are also in my other locker videos. You guys should go check those out next. Time for some close ups. joining me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below which mermaid craft was your favorite. Mine was probably the chandelier jellyfish. See you guys next time. Bye!